Well, we finally made it. At last, we can set you free from your curse, Kanan. I'd appreciate it if you could hurry. I really don't want something like this in my head any longer than I need to. Hey, just what is the data inside of Kanan anyway? Put simply, it contains the identity of the mastermind behind the Milshan conflict. Hold on a second. The mastermind behind the conflict was... Hmm. The madman Joachim Mizrahi. At least that's what everyone thinks. But, just because most people believe something doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Wait, what do you mean? You're about to find out. You're familiar with the UTIC organization? Sure. It's the organization established by Joachim Mizrahi to study the Zohar. We've gone through hell thanks to them. So what about the UTIC? The UTIC organization was originally a part of the Federation. Professor Mizrahi was apparently using the data he obtained from studying the Zohar to convert UTIC into a military organization. But he never actually told the Federation government. He kept them in the dark. But there's something else that's strange about this. It takes an enormous amount of money to fund research and weaponry. Yet there's no evidence that the Federation ever provided that kind of financial backing. So someone else was funding them from behind the scenes? That's right. Almost all of the UTIC organization's enterprises were nothing more than dummy corporations. That is, all except one. Just one? This data includes recorded information regarding a business known as Hyams. It's highly likely that this company was the one that actually provided the money. And. The head of the Hyams outfit, a man named Heinlein, happens to be one of the cardinals of the immigrant fleet. So, are you saying that the UTIC organization has connections to the immigrant fleet? Did Daddy... Did Daddy have connections to the immigrant fleet, too? No. I presume Professor Mizrahi was merely being used. Their objective was to acquire research data on the Zohar. Even the Realian outbursts that sparked the Milshan conflict were believed to be part of their experiments. But something else happened that they couldn't have predicted. Udu awoke, and the door to purgatory opened. And the Gnosis appeared. Everyone must have thought it was the end of the world. But that didn't happen. Momo, the truth of the matter is, your father wasn't a madman at all. In the ensuing chaos, Professor Mizrahi had to make a vital decision in order to prevent the worst case scenario. What decision? He knew he had to somehow isolate the Zohar, Udu, and all of Milsha, and seal their power in a place where no one could touch it. So, the reason Milsha was swallowed up by the Abyss was because Professor Mizrahi... A great many people were sacrificed for his sake. That's probably the reason he brought judgment down upon himself, to put an end to everything. Your father tried to save the world you were about to be born into. And... Then he entrusted his secrets to you. The one he could trust most. Uh, Daddy? I 
knew it. I'm so... I'm so happy. Wait a second. So if we just hand over the Zohar to the immigrant fleet, they'll... Yes. They will likely repeat the tragedy from 14 years ago. Please, go on without me. I'm going to send this data to Representative Helmer. Kanan, please handle the data backup. Understood. Your order, Xi'an?
Predictable, no problem. Your order, Xion?
need this! have been exterminated. Eat this! 
destroy you. Sayonara, baby. 